one of the things that we wanted to talk about is scripting. And so we've spent a lot of time focusing on this. Since 8.1, we've added a lot of features that really importantly make scripting faster. And so these features include an updated script editor, uh, an autocomplete that is part of this. And rather than talking too much about these, I think once again, we'll show this off from Matt, but inside each one of these different sections, the scheduled scripting events, the doc configuration, the ability to control those through scripts, all of those things are things that are easy to show off. That updated script editor is nice in that it provides a new interface. It looks very similar to the previous one, but it has find and replace, cold code folding, visible white space, some other things. And that autocomplete also allows for better code documentation for your team. Uh, so if you're creating script functions that are going to be used, then those can be documented and that documentation can be pulled into different areas. You don't need the scripting for every ignition project. Simple projects don't might not use scripting at all and could just show some status and have some control and have bindings inside there. But if you are using scripting, some folks use it lightly and some folks use it heavily. And especially if you use it heavily, then these features are really nice features to have. So with that said, Matt, back over to you for a quick demonstration here. Yep. So what we'll do is we'll just kind of jump right back into the design environment here and I'll show kind of the updated script editor. And so if you use any kind of scripting inside Ignition previously, maybe you had a transform, something like that, you probably were used to the, the old ways of showing the, the script editing. What we've done is we've now set the description as collapsible. We've set the parameters as collapsible. You can actually click on the parameter, which will auto paste it in for you. And you can see the autocomplete feature uh, having its effect there. To show off that you know, a little bit better, we can go directly to the actual script library section here where I have a couple simple functions that I've defined. And inside this, again, we can you know, use certain kinds of features here for say autocomplete. So now as soon as you hit that dot, it will actually pop it up. You don't have to hit control space anymore. And we can click through and again, kind of find the specific function that we're looking for rather easily. If we select one of these from the list, we have the quick kind of view right at the top of what the function is. If there's any kind of parameters with it, of course, we also display that. And we had some of this information, of course, available before, but now it is definitely easier to use. But besides that, what we also have is if you have your own functions, uh, you can now use that autocomplete feature as well. So you define your own libraries and functions uh, in those libraries. We can now see that uh, summary at a glance at the top, as well as the description that I've provided and any parameters, even ones with say uh, default uh, values are marked optional. So you can see real quickly what's going on uh, with those functions. You don't have to flip back and forth to kind of look up what those are again. And then some other kind of features with the editor itself, of course, code folding as mentioned, but also if we right click the space here, we can see we can auto fold everything all in one click. We can actually disable the auto completion feature for a given you know, scripting here. So if you don't want it to necessarily show up automatically, maybe it's just a nuisance, you can turn that off as well as enable things like showing the tab lines and the white space. So if you want to see specifically that you didn't accidentally say mix the spaces and tabs, then you can easily find out what's going on with that. Uh, on top of that, we do have a search and find and replace tool now built in in line. So if I hit control F right at the bottom, we can actually find something here and highlight that. If I do a control R, we can actually do that. And maybe I need to rename one of my variables here, replace that all in one go. Uh, so again, it's all in this one handy, kind of easy to use interface. So the next kind of main highlight here is in the gateway event, we have the ability now to use scheduled events. So previously, uh, you may have seen the timer event where you can fire off a script every so often, but now you can actually schedule a script to fire at a very specific time. Some examples here, you know, every you know, 2 10 AM every day or say every 30 minutes. So it actually supports uh, some different kind of characters here to uh, represent some more kind of 
timer based scripting, but it's still based on an actual schedule. So every 15 minute mark, every hour, pretty straightforward. There's also a lot of built in options here. So you can see what kind of examples there are and just use those as is. Or if you know all the different kind of special characters, so every 10 minutes between 2 and 3 a.m. on the last day of the month, only be in January and July, you can set up a schedule for something like that. So it's pretty useful for some kind of automated uh, reporting tool, including running that kind of script function here to do the new system.tag.query function for that report tool. So you can take advantage of that with that schedule uh, script there. And then lastly, that update to the, the alter doc function here that's been added. So in perspective, you can define different windows, different views really that, that work as docked views. So typically for headers and navigation, footers at the bottom can set up the configuration for that inside the designer here, fine tune how that behaves. And a lot of it could be made kind of dynamic in the sense that it has different breakpoints and you can toggle them. But now we have the ability to actually alter that configuration on the fly using a, a script function. So to show that off real quick, I have a simple view here with the different buttons that call that function. So if I launch that page here, uh, we can actually see kind of an effect of, of what that could do. So previously, maybe you could open and close different docs, but now we even have the ability to say, change the size, expand it, shrink it, which means it could be done maybe based on some kind of alarm status, expands the header a little bit to fit that, or even add something like now dynamically change the handle. That way the end user could get some kind of alert and, and pull out the menu themselves. So pretty powerful tools there that we are highlighting. And again, we are constantly improving. 